Hi everyone, my name is Terence and I'm a student at the University of York studying psychology and education. My aim is going to be to bring one vlog each week about all things LFC. My favourite players of all time for Liverpool would have to be Steven Gerrard, Jamie Carragher and Sammy Herpia. They for me are all consummate professionals, they have been dedicated to the football club, they have shown sheer passion, grit, pride, determination, all qualities that I consider worthy of a true Liverpool great and legends of the football club. For me, especially Steven Gerrard is an inspiration, a role model for all those that aspire to become professional footballers. He is a role model and I, for me, he is probably the greatest Liverpool player that I have ever seen wear a Liverpool shirt. Obviously there are other players like Kenny Dalglish, Ian Rush, John Barnes, you can name so many Liverpool legends of the past. However, I didn't grow up watching those, so for me, Steven Gerrard has to be the greatest player of all time that I've ever had the sheer pleasure to observe. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm really, really glad that he's going to see out his career with us in the same way that Jamie Carragher has. In terms of this whole saga between Luis Suarez to Arsenal, Luis Suarez is a fantastic player, but at times you have to admit, anyone has to admit, any Liverpool fan, that... He is a liability and he's had two severely long bans now, one for racism and the other for biting Vladislav Ivanovic. To be honest, you can't really condone it. You cannot condone it. It doesn't matter who he plays for. It doesn't matter who he plays for Liverpool. It's unacceptable. And he's banned for the first six games of the season. So you have to argue, if we cut our losses and get rid of him and sell him, that perhaps we could buy two or three top class players in say Ericsson, Alderweireld or Saldado, uh, Kyriakos Papadopoulos, you know, those sort of players that would improve the overall strength of the starting eleven. Okay, they're not going to be able to replace Luis Suarez for his sheer, you know, ability, how well class he is, you know. Luis Suarez is probably in the top five players in the world right now. So we're unlikely to be able to get anything to match that. However, if we significantly improved the starting eleven, perhaps that would be better in the long run than keeping Luis Suarez and not adding as much depth or as much improvement to the team as we perhaps would have done by selling him. Luis Suarez, though, is a tough one. You know, we can't. I don't believe that we can afford to sell him to Arsenal because he will improve their team too much. They are fourth at the moment. We're looking to overtake them. And I think it would be suicide to sell Luis Suarez to Arsenal. I think as a result, if a club like Real Madrid comes in for him or another club abroad, fine, we can sell them for say, sell Suarez for say 55, 60 million plus, and then we'll be able to use that money to invest sensibly for the remainder of the transfer window. Having said that, on the uh, subject of the transfer window, I'm very impressed with our signing so far. Aspas looks very good. His turn against. The Thailand 11 in particular was absolutely fantastic. It was, as people said, Maradona-esque, and I've included a link here. I've always wanted to do that as well. Brilliant. Uh, just for you to see that turn, that goal against Thailand, it was fantastic. And so far, he's, he's, he's really impressed me, as has Alberto, um, who looks a very good ball retainer. Uh, looks decent, typical Spanish player. Torre solid as always defensively and Simon Mignolet looks a top keeper, albeit he hasn't really been tested so far. But you know, and just while we're very clear on the subject of the Liverpool tour, absolutely fantastic. I read that, you know, the four matches in pre-season so far have been attended by 265,000 spectators. You know, four clean sheets and, and nothing for me was more spine tingling than hearing 95,000 people at the Melbourne Cricket Ground singing You'll Never Walk Alone. And you can see that in this video clip here. Absolutely fantastic. You really need to check it out. It is just unreal. I thought that Anfield could never be matched and Anfield is fantastic. Really is for You'll Never Walk Alone. But this was something else. It was something out of this world. It was just unreal. Brilliant. So yeah, four terrifically attended matches. It shows what a f huge football club Liverpool still is in terms of the global scale. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Well, that's about it from me for now. This is my very first vlog. However, I will be producing more soon. I hope you've enjoyed what I've had to say. If there's anything that you want to take me to task on or leave your, you know, leave your comments about my video or whatever else you would like to see added, please do that. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.